So the first thing we're going to do when we de-rig after taking care of our jibs is we're going to release our outhaul. And so you want to get in position. The outhaul on this particular boat is here on the top of the boom. And you're going to pull back and then release it. And your sail in the boom is probably going to be flying depending on the um, wind speed. But you'll just release it. And then drop down, put your boom down. Then we're going to go forward and we're going to do our downhaul. So we're going to release that in this particular one. You'll pull down and it just releases. Okay? So now we have, we've released our clue with the outhaul. Now we're going to do our tack and it's right here. So just a shackle, pull the uh, little wing ding and it'll release. And then you can push it back. Drop the boom down. And now we're ready to put the sail down. So you're going to find your main halyard. And on this particular boat, it happens to be on the port side. So we're going to release the main halyard. You'll just uncleat it. You will hold on to your main halyard. But you want to make sure that when your sail comes down, there's a groove on your mast. We call it a, a puka, a hole here in the mast. You got to make sure that your sail doesn't just come straight down. You've got to release it from that opening on the mast. So then you're going to bring it down, keeping the sail in the boat. And it comes down. So once it's down, you can remove your flotation device, your jug. Now you'll unshackle the main halyard from the top of your sail, the head of the sail. Hold on to both ends of the um, line. And this one's just a matter of you just rotate it around. There's a little pin line up. And then you will go ahead and re-secure that so that it's locked in place. For this boat, you can then keep it secure by just going underneath the cleat, put some tension back on your main halyard, and you'll cleat off on the port side of the boat. Now your sail is down, you'll just put it off to the side because you'll remove it from the boat, take it to shore to be able to fold it. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to remove your rudder and tiller. So your pentels and gudgeons are here inside um, the stern, or on the outside of the stern. You're gonna push down on this silver button, push that down, hold it, and you'll be able to just pop it up. You're gonna bring it back underneath the bridle, holding on to it. You wanna keep it secure and put it inside the boat. So our next thing to do, we've got our sail down, jib secure, rudders out. Now we're gonna take our dagger board out. So for this particular one, you're just going to slide it straight up, holding on to it, and then put it inside the boat. You will later take it and put it into the shed that's labeled the Match League, uh, Manawa Match League Racing Shed. All right. So. So we're going to take this main sheet. We're just going to do a nice large coil here and then you take it and just secure it here on the boom okay we want to keep everything off of the hull of the boat in the cockpit because if it rains we don't want our lines to get saturated with the uh, water and then potentially mold or damage the lines over time now we're ready to step off the boat we will um, take our sail off Make sure that you hold three points of contact when getting off of the boat. Alright. So, I'm going to take my sail. Put it all up. Holding on to the boat. It's going to be tippy because there's no dagger board to balance the boat. So you want to be sure you hold on and then step off of the boat. So when you put the trailer in, take the boat out again. If you don't have the physical capability, you can, and you've been checked out on the tractor, you can use the tractor to do this, but we're going to do it with two people.
So when we want to put it in, uh, so it's not too deep because we want the boat to be able to uh, come on the trailer where we can still see the trailer. So Mary's got the uh, painter around the shroud which helps you keep the boat straight as it comes on. She's going to bring it towards the bow, the bow towards the front of the trailer. There's a roller here. What we're going to do is we want to get the boat lined up on this roller. Alright, and then we've got our winch. We're going to loosen a little bit. We're just going to hook it, uh, then tighten it up. And then there's a latch here. We want to make sure we flip that so you hear that nice clicky noise. That means it's been secured. So now Mary can let the painter go. Just remember when you're pushing this out, is you don't want to be in front of anything in case it rolls back. And always wear your shoes. Alright. Mary's going to push from the back. Mary, do you want to do the front and I'll do the back since you don't want to get wet? Oh, I'm okay. okay. Alright, All right, here we go. I just don't want to get my hair wet. Oh, okay. plug out at this time so we leave that out when we store it and then you can check the fall plug while it's still angled on the ramp see if there's any water nope all right easier to keep the foot of the sail if it's a really windy day to keep the foot of the sail um, in the direction of the wind because that's the area that you're going to be folding so we're, so we're gonna plate the sail but we want to keep our battens together um, so we're gonna keep them all in line okay we'll come this way Mary there's a batten this is one of those battens we were talking about and we're going to keep them in line. So I'm going to bring this one over to kind of keep it together. And then the last part is the head. Right. And then we fold it over, but we keep those battens kind of aligned. Mary, you want to start on your end? Just fold it because it's going to go back inside the bag. And here are those battens. There we go. All right, so we've got our sail bag. We're gonna put our sail into the sail bag, but just one thing to really keep in mind, if your sail got wet during your sailing adventure, um, please make sure you don't put a wet sail into a bag. Lay the sail out. You can either do that if you're gonna be hanging around the, the LMSA um, grounds, you can just leave it out till it dries, then fold it up. If not, put it into the shop. Um, you can lay it across the tractors in the shop, just keep it up off the ground and make sure that it's dry before you put it in the bag. Now you're gonna take it and we're going to manipulate it to get it into the bag. And we did such a good job folding it up, we're gonna have extra bag in this particular time. And then this gets restored back into the MMRL shed and you hang it on a hook in the back right hand side. 